Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, first of all, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, to your family, whomever you send my videos to, I appreciate you. And I want to wish you all a wonderful, happy, healthy, and blessed new year ahead. We've chatted so much on Instagram over the last week about, you know, sort of embracing this new year after everything we're going through. And I just want to thank you for being here and being such a welcome distraction for me over the past couple of years, really over the past 12 years. Um, but I am thankful for you. So thank you for being here and allowing me to have the space to both distract myself and to also just um, find myself because I love to cook and I love to share it with you and I love to share it with anyone. So having said all that, it's gonna be a delicious year. I went through all of the feed from last year of all the things that we've cooked and it was a delicious year, I have to say. But I'm gonna make this year even more delicious if that's possible. I'm gonna start off with this delicious recipe for a spicy honey chili chicken situation that is so good so adaptable. If you're a vegetarian, you can make this exact recipe using some really good extra firm tofu. You can make it using shrimp. You can make it using salmon. You can make it using scallops. You can make it using whatever. I'm using standard old chicken breast because it is what I have and really the most versatile for me. Let's get going. Um, so we have chicken. I've got chicken breasts in nice big chunky pieces. With this, by the way, I'm gonna serve some sushi rice, which is, um, sushi rice is really short grain rice, and I'm gonna cook it. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna rinse it really, really well through a sieve so that no, so there's, the water no longer runs cloudy. So I have rinsed it, and this is what it looks like. Um, like I said, it's just short grain rice, but we're gonna cook it in a saucepan, which I'm actually gonna get going right now. Add your sushi rice to your saucepan. To it, you're gonna add water. And of course, the recipe will be written for you on the website. A combination of salt and a teeniest bit of sugar because sushi rice kind of has a bit of a, I'm not gonna say sweet, but it's a perfectly balanced uh, note to it, if you will, and some salt. I'm gonna bring that to a simmer. Once it starts to boil, I'm gonna add my lid to it. So that's going. This recipe comes together in literally minutes. Um, if you have everything prepped, it will take you the amount of time it takes to cook the rice, it will take to cook the chicken. That's how simple it is. I've got a saucepan here going, not a saucepan, a skillet. What you got for Christmas? Love to hear how you guys celebrated. Um, we had a good, very small holiday, but it was good. It was all we needed, right? Some salt on the chicken. And I, just cooking it in some regular light olive oil, not extra virgin. You can use avocado oil, any neutral oil without a lot of uh, oh, a lot of strong flavor will do. I want that oil to get nice and shimmery and hot. To make the sauce, you just need a handful of ingredients, which you may already have on hand. You need some soy sauce, low sodium, of course. You need some honey. You need some spicy chili sauce. I'm using sriracha, but you can use, I've used gojujang for this. I've used um, any, any chili sauce your heart desires. You can use some water. And then I like to use a combination of dehydrated, well, dried onion powder, garlic powder, and dried ginger. So all those together are gonna make for a fantastic, delicious sauce. Then we're just gonna roll with it. Then what I'm gonna serve it with are these delicious cucumbers. I love, mini cucumbers, okay? I don't love the traditional, like standard big cucumber. They're very seedy, no texture, all water, but mini cucumbers are my jam. All I did to these is put a little bit of rice vinegar on them, some salt and a drizzle of toasted sesame oil and they're to die for. So we're gonna serve it with that as our veg. The oil is nice and hot because we chat forever. I should say I chat forever. Add your chicken in, and you're gonna cook the chicken until it develops good color, and it's pretty much cooked all the way through. So go ahead and let that go. Don't disturb it too much. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's there. Chicken is just about ready. It's not fully cooked through yet, but that's it's fine, because it's gonna keep cooking with the sauce, low and slow, as the rice finishes cooking. Love it. So, 
We're gonna make a little sauce, okay? You could, if you wanted to, chop up some onions and garlic and fresh ginger and add it to this and saute it and seize it. Be, mwah. However, I'm in a bit of a throw it together and go in kind of mood and this just works so well that I just don't feel like chopping and I'm not going to because this works really, really well. Anyway, in this bowl, I'm gonna add, so I have my seasonings, I'm gonna go ahead and add the water. As much sriracha as you want, I do about a teaspoon or two because I like it. And then some low sodium soy. About three tablespoons. One, two, three. No, I'm an eyeballing kind of gal. And then some honey. You could also use maple syrup if you wanted to. Uh, you could use a honey substitute if you don't use honey. Totally up to you. Give it all a gentle stir, which by the way, I'm gonna do over my pan because if it splashes, it's perfectly fine. And I'm just going to cook this just low and slow uh, until the rice is done. Now mind you, that when you make sure that this is on low because there's honey in there. What happens to sugar when it gets really, 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 really hot? It can burn really, really, really quick. So just keep an eye on it, don't walk away. You want this to thick and re get be nice and thick and reduced and delicious. And then by the time that's done, the rice is gonna be done, my cucumbers are ready, my plate is set, I am ready to dig in, if you haven't noticed. Boom! Rice is done. We're gonna go ahead and sprinkle that, sprinkle, drizzle, just a tiny bit of rice vinegar on it. I'm telling you, this is like the best rice. Love sushi rice. And it's, look at this, it's fluffy. It's perfect. Perfect and fluffy. Don't scrape your pan. That is perfection. Timer is done. My chicken, I just cranked it up because I really wanted everything to bubble. And I'm just on the plate because I'm so hungry. This is my little pre-dinner snack. As you know how I do. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off because you know that's how I do. See that sauce is just thick and gorgeous and I have tasted it and it is so Perfect. It is so just, it's been making my mouth salivate. It's sweet, it's spicy, it's perfection. I'm gonna do the cucumbers on the side. And ordinarily, I would go ahead and top this with some sesame seeds, except I'm out of sesame seeds. But I also love it with some Thai basil, which Laugh with me because you know about my grocery store in town. You know about my grocery store. So go ahead, have a laugh. Because if you think I can find Laura, as my dad would say, Laura, come on. Anyway, you know that my grocery store would not have, would absolutely not have Thai basil, but they have regular basil. And you know what? It's fine. We are not going to be picky. Listen, the first time I made this recipe with whatever was my idea, was just about a year ago. If I can find the picture of when I took the picture of this dish for the first time, I'll share it with you on Instagram with the stamp date. Because when I tell you I've been making this for a year and it just does not get old, you have to trust me. It's delicious. It hates all the right notes. It's spicy, it's sweet, it's sticky. The rice is mwah. The cukes, I'm telling you, mini cucumbers, they're my favorite. I will write all of this for you and I will put it on the website and I want you to promise me that it's gonna be a go-to for you during the week. It's quick, it's easy, you can customize it. Nothing in here bad for you, it's to die for. Go to lauraindthekitchen.com with a written recipe. Hope you enjoyed spending time with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.